ओम सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा यद्यालासेन भूतभतिकसृष्टया तम नौमी परमात्मा सचिदानंद विग्रह के सो वी सॉ ए लिटिल बिट ऑफ वॉट परसेप्शन वॉज अबाउट जस्ट स्टार्टेड सींग एनी क्वेश्चन क्लैरिफिकेशन ऑन वॉट वी आर डन लास्ट टाइम और इज इट फाइन इट इज सिंपल अपटर नाउ वॉट इज बीन एस या अप्रोक्ष सी इन वेदांत परिभाषा एंड सम ऑफ द हायर टेक्स द क्वेश्चन वॉज हाउ कैन यू पुट आत्मा एज प्रत्यक्ष नाउ द वर्ड प्रत्यक्ष एंड अप्रोक्ष इज वेरी ऑफन इंटरचेंज वेन इट कम्स टू द हायर टेक्स इन वेदांत इन द बिगिनिंग वील से वॉट इज प्रत्यक्ष वेट इज वॉट यू सी वॉट इज परोक्ष वॉट इज अवे फ्रॉम यू and what is the aparoksham the atma only a thing aparoksham is the atma but later on this thing shifts like in vedanta paribhasha onwards it shifts that whatever is immediate and direct is seen as aparoksham is also seen as pratiksha we don't say that in our explanation but look at the maha look at that statement from brudanika atma vare drashtavya but the darshanam is through shravanam therefore shrutavya therefore is the knowledge of the atma direct or indirect direct na therefore pratyaksha no it is not indriya grahiyam that is why you will use the word see when the upanishad describes it it doesn't say it is not pratyaksham it says it's ati indriyam are you seeing the upanishadic de- de- definitions na indriya gocharam yeah these are the words used <laughs> yeah these are the words used therefore aproksham and pratyaksham they are used interchangeably like how the word gnanam is used gnanam is used for knowledge gnanam is also used for atma how do you know which is which contextual so here also contextual yeah shabda is also pramana so this is a pen shabda pramanam it's also pratyaksham correct this is a pen shabda pramanam it's also pratyaksham is the atma pratyek uh, known to you or unknown to you once again once again once again. one step at a time one step at a it is known directly or indirectly directly is it known without uh, with a pramana without a pramana without therefore without even a pramana when you know it it is sakshat aprokshat brahma that is the basis for all perception they were cont- they were contextually you have to understand correct they were contextually understand na what are you stuck about understand contextually whether it is shabdam or whether it is pratyaksham huh yes no it is swata siddham is always holds true what is the atma that is pramana siddham or uh, not pramana siddham atma is satyam jnanam anantam how do you know it shabda pramana that you know directly or indirectly so what is directly is also put as pratyaksham simple he is following a paradigm don't get stuck yeah he is following a paradigm exactly just a paradigm is following that aproksham and pratyaksham are used interchangeably in the higher text of vedanta ha huh? not pariyaya pada <laughs> see don't you are getting stuck in technicality it is without being pariyaya pada it is used interchangeably one second one second 
गिव मी टू वर्ड्स फॉर वॉटर इन हिंदी इन हिंदी जल एंड पानी दे आर पर पदार्थ राइट दे आर पर पदार्थ बट वॉट एवर इज ड्रिंकेबल वॉट एवर यू कैन ड्रिंक कैन इंक्लूड द होल रेंज ऑफ थिंग्स ना दे आर नॉट पर पदार्थ ना कॉफी टी वॉटर सॉफ्ट ड्रिंक्स हार्ड ड्रिंक्स दे आर नॉट पर पदार्थ बट दे आर ऑल ड्रिंकेबल Similarly, what is protection is protection. What is approaction is also included in it. It's a paradigm simplification. I think it's equivalent to approaction. You can say. Hmm? Yeah, it's approaction, protection. Correct. Eh? Who says table is not approaction? Can you say table is not Im- directly, immediately known to you? So they use. That's why they are using the word. because it is direct and immediate direct immediate the words are used interchangeably yeah, then it's a nice anupalabdi uh, anupalabdi also okay. yeah that is why that is why in other systems they don't have anupalabdi pramana direct and immediate yeah tarka includes it in pratyaksham anything direct and immediate what is to called as aproksham is also called remember my word is also called as a paradigm pratyaksham in these texts when you studying the gita upanishads etc we don't use that only when it comes to higher texts like this we will use it like that because in the beginning it can be confusing in the beginning it can be confusing yeah perception even here perception is kept separate yeah is the other way around whatever see because shabda will give you direct and indirect both types of knowledge if i describe gomuk it is indirect therefore that is not called protection <laughs> only direct immediate is also called as protection we will see how the details come up that is what we present in the beginning how did you know approaksham is only you i because we presented it like that na so now we are changing the presentation listen to the story i was doing a corporate workshop so 6 months ago i had done a workshop for them and 6 months later i went for another workshop so in 6 months ago i had told them a story about two monks walking and uh, how they came a, a girl struggling in the water half drowning in the water how the younger monk picked her up and brought her to the shore and left her and they both walked so in the evening when they reached their ashram the older monk told the younger one there was not the right thing to do we are monks you can't carry a half naked girl like that so the younger monk says I left the girl on the banks of the river four hours ago. You are still carrying her in your mind. <laughs> this is the story I had told them. Six months back, this guy guy reminded me of that story. So I told him, I left the story six months back. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so similarly, we made the presentation that aproksham and pratyaksham. Aproksham is only used for the atma. that was then now we are coming to higher text this interchangeability is there yeah in a way or rather the other way around aproksham is when it comes to the atma etc is you are using the word interchangeably it is it is still separate but it is used interchangeably it is used interchangeably that's all contextually you have to interpret yeah yeah once you know the atma yeah once you know the atma let us say you know your ananda when you say i you say atma or anything else first that is direct immediate at that time are you using shabda pramana 
then what are you doing? One second, one second. At that moment, what is happening? Because the Atma is directly known to you as I, Swata Siddham. Now the Swata Siddha Atma, you didn't know what it was. Now you know what it is. Therefore, I will mean direct all the time, without any pramana, no? That is what we, this one, you are still stuck on that world. Remember that story? That girl I left behind? Ah, the story also I left behind. So now leave behind that. <laughs> leave behind that. Yeah, because this is a paradigm used. He will clarify how it is used, etc. I am not going into those explanations because it's coming. In the same chapter it is coming. So for that we will see it in greater detail. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The Shabda and Avritti Jnanam, all that we saw. Now, he is bringing a Pura Paksha. Okay, funny Pura Paksha this is. But it is a Pura Paksha. Nanu, Kama Dehe, Anta Karna Dharmatve, Aham Ichami, Aham Janami, Aham Vibhemi, Ityadi Anubhava, Atma Dharvatvam, Avagaham Anaha, Katam Upapadhyate. Simple, he says. This argument is from Tarka. For Tarka, Icha, Jnanam, etc. is Atma Dharma, not Mano Dharma. Okay? Therefore, from there he is raising a Pura Paksha that if you say Kamadi, desire, etc. is Antakarna Dharma, then how do you explain this problem of Aham Ichami, Aham Bibemi, Aham Janami. Because there is all talked about as mine, na? I know, I have this desire, I know this, I am afraid of this. All this is taken as I. As I said, Tarka goes by Vyavahara. Therefore, your experience is, it is I. Therefore, it should be Atma Dharma, not Mano Dharma. This is the Purvaksha. To which he gives an answer. Uchyate Ayapindasya Dragdritva Abhave Api. Dragdritva Abhava. Ayapindaha. Ayapindaha meaning an iron ball. A lump of iron. Something that you get in the hardware shop. Just a lump of iron. Okay. Dragdritva Abhave Api. When you touch the iron ball, do you feel it's hot? In fact, your hand will be hotter than that, <laughs> generally, unless now, because outside temperature is also hot. <laughs> Therefore, the iron ball will be normal room temperature. Dragdhatva abhavam. There is no burning there in the iron ball. There is no quality of burning there. But he says, Dragdhatva ashraya vannit adatmasya adhyasad ayodhati iti vevaharaha. Let us say now I have taken this iron ball to a smithy or any other place. I have put it into the fire. Now it looks like a ball of fire. Now if I touch it, the iron burns, ayodhati. Hey, how did you get that burn? I touched that ball of iron, yeah, it burnt me. So, you attribute the burning to the ball of iron out of what? Adhyasa. Because of Tadatmyam. Tadatmyam is association. The fire and the iron ball has an association. Therefore, there is an adhyasa. Adhyasa used as itreitra bhava. One appearing as the other. Itreitra bhava. Therefore, yes, if one appears as the other, you will say, iron burnt me. Pure Adhyasa, iron burnt. But we all know what you are talking about. You don't start an argument there, fire cannot burn. How can you say fire is burning? You saw that, ah, okay, fire burnt. Ayodhati okay. ti vyavahara. 
यथा तथा सेम मैनर सुख दुखादि आकार परिणाम अंत करने से आय के अध्यासा द अंत करना देर इज देर इज अध्यस्तम ऑन द आत्मा ऑन आय देर इज एन आई केम देर बिकॉज ऑफ अध्यासा देर सीम्स टू बी अ वननेस बिटवीन माई अंत करना एंड मी देर फोर आई विल से अहम सुखी अहम दुखी इत्यादि व्यवहार सिंपल अध्यास भाषा सेम थिंग बिकॉज लाइक हाउ द फायर एंड द आयन हैज एन अध्यास तादात्म्यम एंड देर फोर आई से आयन बंट मी सिमिलरली बिटवीन अंत करना एंड आय देर इज एन अध्यास नॉट तादात्म्यम दे इज एन सिंपल द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ एसोसिएशन दैट इज देर सहजम तादात्म्यम नंबर देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ तादात्म्यम बिटवीन द माइंड एंड द आत्मा यू बेटर आई बेटर रिमाइंड यू ऑफ ऑल दिस ओके वन इज कॉल्ड सहजम नैचुरल वेर एवर द माइंड गोज कॉन्शियसनेस विल बी मैनिफेस्ट इन दैट माइंड दिस इज नैचुरल कॉल्ड नैचुरल वी डोंट हैव टू डू इफ देर इज अ माइंड वेन इज द माइंड कम अबाउट बिगिनिंग ऑफ क्रिएशन फ्रॉम देन ऑनवर्ड्स माइंड will manifest the consciousness one that that this is called sahajam the other is called karmajam that 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 mind in which consciousness is manifest is associated with this body this is because of your past karmas is called karmajam that that both these are not a problem theek hai natural flow of things to take the mind as me is the third type of tadatmya i mistake the mind as myself this is called bhrantijam born of an erroneous conclusion bhrantijam jam meaning to be born of this is the problem one therefore because of bhrantijam tadatmya i say aham sukhi aham dukhi etc mind and me are taken as one purely bhrantijam tadatmya तो भ्रांतिजम तादाद में इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिस व्यवहार अहम सुखी अहम दुखी एक्सेट्रा पूर्वपक्ष सिद्धांत क्लियर किया दिस वेरी सिंपल स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड ओके नाउ एनदर पूर्वपक्ष कमिंग वेदांत ग्रू बाय द लैंग्वेज ऑफ डिबेट एंड डिस्कशन नाउ यूल से ननु अंतकर्ण से इंद्रियतया अतीन्द्रियवाद कथम प्रत्यक्ष विषय चेत वेरी फनी आर्ग्युमेंट दिस इज ओके माइंड इज अ सेंस ऑर्गन एंड इफ माइंड इज अ सेंस ऑर्गन द सेंस ऑर्गन कॉन्ट सी इट सेल्फ सुख दुख इज ऑल इन योर माइंड नो के आई सी इट सेल्फ द टंग के नॉट टेस्ट इट सेल्फ therefore mind also should not be able to know itself ati indriyatvat because not being a subject matter of the indriya because it's an indriya the argument is because it's an indriya it cannot be seen by itself katam pratiksham vishayati but using sukha dukha is pratiksham or not and using sukha dukha is mano dharma if it is mano dharma then it belongs to the mind You are saying the mind, yes, sense organ is seeing itself. That is not tenable. Now you look at it; this is an argument of Vedanta, but it is used against. Okay, it cannot be seen. Clear about the argument? Okay, which is the answer? He says, now it can be answered in different ways, but he is looking, answering it differently. Now, to, huh? What is part? Yeah, the argument is simple. Do you see sukha and dukha? Now, all knowledge is in the mind. Therefore, sukha dukha is happening in your mind. How can the mind see sukha dukha? Because the mind is a, your mind is a sense organ. The eyes cannot see itself. The nose cannot smell itself. The tongue cannot taste itself. 
therefore how will the mind see itself therefore how will you see sukha dukkha if it is atma dharma you be other than the mind you can see it <laughs> why because without seeing how do you make an adhyasa the no answer will without seeing how do you make an adhyasa will you mistake a rope for a snake unless you can see the rope and you can see the snake both <coughs> means you have seen the snake somewhere without seeing both you cannot make a mistake no? supposing i am walking by i don't even see that there is something lying down there i am make khayalo mein my own world will i th- you think i'll mistake it so did you see see the snake there what snake actually it is a rope what rope <laughs> are you getting the idea because this is based on the argument that mind is a sense organ therefore mind gains knowledge stick to here don't jump forward otherwise you'll get confused stick to this therefore the argument is based this much only okay argument is right here okay then he says na tavat antakarnam indriyam ityartha manam asti there is no pramana to show mind is a sense organ he is dismissing the fact mind is a sense organ what is your pramana to say my eyes ears nose etc you have pramana for you have anubhava also how come your mind became a sense organ mind is not a sense organ therefore he is quoting the manam there pramanam mana shashtani indriyani iti bhagavad gita vachanam pramanam iti chet na <laughs> bhagavad gita mein bola hai na mana shashtani indriyani what is that whole verse anyone remembers ah. yeah av vayu or gandhani he takes it and goes etc he says that is only aupacharikam what do you mean aupacharikam here it is okay na ani an indriyani api manashta manaha manasaha shashtatva sankhya purna avirodha it is counted as the sixth the mind is counted as the sixth but that doesn't mean it has to be a sense organ why here i'll give you an example okay because he is giving vedic examples because it is a spiritual statement na it comes from the shastra the gita therefore he is giving other quotations from the same from the shastra only yajamanam panchamaha eeda bakshanti eedam bakshanti there is a kriya called eedam where the deity is also eeda eeda is vag devi okay yeah in there at one particular thing after the offerings are given to the fire before the ritual is over all the four priests have to eat a part of what is left behind and the fifth one is the yajamana therefore in the statement is statement is yajamana panchama idam bakshanti yajamana is not a priest there are four priests for the yaga but the yajamanam is presented as a fifth one though he is not a priest he does not belong to the class of priests but he is included as the fifth one so because he is included as a fifth can you say he is a priest no if he is a priest you will not be yajamana therefore just because the mind is connected counted along with the sense organs can you say it's a sense organ no rule like that he gives you another example a uh, ityatra rutva gatah pancha sankhyayam anrutva japi yajamanena he says the rutva gatah all the priests pancha sankhyayam to make up the five non priest yajamanam fills it up the number 5 is filled up is made up by non priest the other four are priests this guy is not a priest but he makes up the number therefore he just used to make up a number these expressions are available in the shastra 
therefore just because mana shastani indriyani it said it doesn't mean the mind is the sixth sense organ not only that vedan adhyaya adhyapaya masah mahabharat tap panchaman he teaches the four vedas along with the fifth the mahabharata mahabharata is not a veda <laughs> is never upon in life you look upon mahabharata as a veda oh it is a fifth veda that is aupacharika ena again there is no five vedas there is only four vedas mahabharata was written after agreed vyasa wrote it but vyasa wrote a lot of things all of them is not veda <laughs> vyasa wrote a lot of stuff all of them is not the veda therefore there also four vedas panchama is is mahabharata therefore it is not taken as veda you may respect it and call it panchama veda the fifth veda that is what is it called if you make a statement like that for the veda, for mahabharata oh, mahabharata is very important is the fifth veda arthavada <laughs> becomes arthavada exactly it is not to be taken literally therefore you have examples like this okay not everything only certain usage ha huh? where where are you justify we are only talking just by clubbing things together doesn't mean all of it is the same class that's all he is saying here you are clubbing for the sake of a number okay let us order tea for the 10th including the teacher the teacher is not the student <laughs> do we not is order 10 teas here for abhi abhi kiya na the staff wala sir are you see you just clubbing for the sake of a number it doesn't mean that it is the same it doesn't mean it is the same you just clubbing how many people are going on a trek four men with kavita as a fifth she is a lady all right <laughs> but you put her as a fifth meaning four men with kavita is a that mean does mean kavita is a man she is a fifth member there so how does that kind of statement yeah statements like this hmm. how does that kind of statement tarka takes it as in this case as far as the sense organ is concerned it takes it as the sense organ इत्यादौ च वेदगत पंच संख्याया आवेदेना भारत पूर्णदर्शना इन द फाइव फोर आर् वेद द अदर इज नॉन् वेद द महाभारत बट फॉर् संख्या पूर्ण फॉर् मेकिंग द नंबर कंप्लीट इट इज इंक्लूडेड एंड ही कोट अनदर प्रमाण to show the difference between the sense organ and the mind the same gita indriya bhyo param hi arthah the objects as bigger than the sense organs arthe bhyas ch param manah the mind is bigger stronger superior to the objects mane bhyo para jnanam then atma param sa kashta sa para gati etc that means what now you are talking about the mind and the sense organ as completely different things the same gita you quoted there mana shastani indriyani here mind is different because you are talking about the object being superior to the sense organs why superior because you can't help seeing it you don't have a choice <laughs> object aise dikhega hi na <laughs> and but your mind is superior you can say no to that object even if it's attract your sense organs finds it attractive therefore mind is superior therefore clear cut the shastra also shows it now he has given an adhyasa explanation of aham sukhi aham dukhi etc then the mind 
being separate from the atma, separate from the sense organs. That also he has given. No example. Yeah. Okay. Example and Shastra Pramana. Clear up to now? Or any doubts? Swamiji? Yeah. In Gita also, there is this Indriyani Paranyavu. Yeah. Is that exactly. The same that way? yeah. That also comes in. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So when we say that uh, the mind is actually Yeah. So then. Uh, that is why adhyasa is possible. Huh. So that's how we see them. That's yeah. Right? See, in Vedanta we will say the mind is seen by the sakshi. That's why we, we will again beginning this bath. Maybe we will see it differently. Okay. But at this level of understanding, we will say. Mind is an object of internal perception seen directly by the Sakshi, the witness eye, the witnessing eye, the consciousness, witnessing eye sees it directly. That's why Atma gained the name Buddhi Nam Sakshi, Avatatraya Sakshi, etc. That name it gains. Therefore, that's how we will say it here. Therefore, mind is also an object of your perception. Yeah. Sakshi Vetiyam, but not Indriya Samya, Sannikarsha. It's antakarnam. That's why it's antakarnam, no? because inside. See, sense organs etc. are bahya karnam. Sense organs etc. are considered bahya karnam. Body, why? It's external. Mind, reasoning etc. is antakarnam because it's internal to the body. With respect to the body only we talk. Because it manifests in the body. No? External. 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 Why? Swamiji, we cannot hear the question. Can you please? Okay, you're saying whether the object, Artha, is external or internal? See this object? Do you have a choice not to see it? If it's in front of your eyes, you'll see it. That's why the object is considered beyond the, stronger than the sense organs. Only from that standpoint, nothing else. Don't go into nuances. <laughs> nuances nahi hai. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying, cut that off. That is why mind is superior to the object because you can choose what to focus on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, question should, don't worry. Okay. Up to now, clear. It's simple, straightforward. Clear? Anyone here has, online has got any doubts? Shoot, no problem. All right. Uh, Swamiji. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Swamiji, if the mind is the object of my consciousness, so it should be inert, no? It is inert. It be it gains consciousness only because it is associated with the consciousness. Okay. Mind so, is considered inert in Vedanta. We don't take uh, the mind as a living thing. It's inert. Jara. How is the mind made? Subtle. Uh, subtle. Yeah, sir. Sattvic sir. aspect, no? Yeah. Of all the tanmatras. Tanmatras. Yeah. Therefore, yeah. it is this only, yeah. It's inert okay. only, yeah. Okay. It became, became let's say, that's why that I opened, Ayo Dahati, that example was used earlier. We put an iron ball into a fire, it becomes fiery by association. Similarly, mind associated with the Atma, therefore, mind also becomes Sensuous. Okay, sir. Yeah. Now, up to now, was simple, straightforward. See the vada, man, India, it's simple.